like that. That's not challenge. That's not openness. There's a discrimination between being genius and being idiot. How clock can you say this is liberation, this is openness, this is not? Because there is no concrete and productive output out of that. That's not it. If you learn to ride a bike, you know that you can manage it and use it for services, for getting the things done. You are acquiring a skill. <coughs> Loitering around, wandering about is not a skill. It's sheer wastage of time. Unless you have the ability to learn something from that. <coughs> Unless you have the ability to learn something from that. Cull out everything from even the worthless piece of information. That's your ability, openness. Work and work. What is work? You are the recognition in the positive way. If you say that you do not, there is a word possess and then there is a word yield. W-I-E-L-D, yield. Possess means you have it. Weed means you have it and you use it. So possession is not question. I don't question that part. You already have that. It depends how much do you use it. It just depends on that particular balance and the ability to put it to use. When we talk about the second part, work, you have to put it to use. It can be intellectually. When Kiran Bedi first wrote an essay and she stated that she wanted to be an IPS officer, the teacher out lightly rejected it. How can you be? Right? And you must have seen one particular ad which says, I want to be like this, I want to be like this, and I want to be. And the teacher comes and then she says, you would be like this, you would be like this, you would be like this. And students say, ma'am, they use their first name. I don't want to be like Einstein. I want to be, they use their name. Yeah. So work for that, to prove that you are worthy. And you are much better. Yeah. And are to be recognized in your own way. Not as a successor, predecessor to somebody. No, you are already there. People should follow you or you are not supposed to follow them. Essence and establishment. What is essence? There is a saying. It says, I am not scared of hundred lions that are led by a sheep. But yes, I am scared of those hundred lambs that are led. Led means leadership, under the leadership of one lion. So you find out the essence in you. Do not create followers, create leaders. That is the difference between when lion leads you and when lambs lead you. So be the leaders, find out what is your own essence. Essence, you cannot be good at everything. This is practically applicable to everybody. You have to master it. This requires training part, vigor, sweat. Patience, failure, anybody who has never faced failure is not a winner. The person who has, we never learn from our mistakes, we only learn our mistakes. If you know that this is a, there is a ditch and you are moving over there and you fall, on, how do you evolve yourself? First of all you have to begin, you have to embark on a journey, only then you can evolve. That is the next process of it. It's not possible unless you remain in the first thing. Nourishment and newness. What is to be nourished? Personality. Personality. Talents. Talents. Nourish yourself first with knowledge. Basic manners. How many of you have come across this particular thing that many of you do not read your teachers? Another thing, when you do not greet your teachers, do you think that your teacher gets humiliated or you belittle them or you take away their money, income, you reduce their stature? What do you think you do to them? No, it doesn't reach them. They are too mature to understand you are being dumb. You are closing the gates of communication for yourself. You are refusing to evolve. You are embarking on a very negative side of your personality. You are not opening up. There is no nourishment in you. You are withering away simply because 
Token of respect is not for others. It is for you to be humble. When you are humble, only then you are going to get respect. It's not for your teachers. They become the medium. They are only the medium for you to refine yourself. You have to nourish yourself. If you get up early in the morning, do you think that your teacher is likely to be benefited by that? Nobody is. If you keep sleeping till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock throughout the day, who is getting benefited? Your teacher? No. It has nothing to do with anybody else. If you don't finish your homework and I scold you and then you say, ah, she keeps on saying this thing. You are not depriving me of anything. You are depriving yourself. It's on multiple scales. If you do not run, if you are not there in athletics, you are not depriving anybody else. You have depriving yourselves only. Nothing else. Nobody else is being deprived or there is no defeat to anybody, only you. So that you have to realize. My potential, how diamonds are formed? Extreme pressure and extreme heat, if I am not mistaken, right? Now that is what you are supposed to do. Nourish yourself. It might be extremity now. But if you want to be a diamond, otherwise you would be just a coal. A piece of coal. And you know the difference between the two. Right? I need not tell you the worth of the coal and the worth of the... You understand it maybe much better than what I do. Newness. The moment you realize you are not affecting anybody, harming anybody by being on the side of negativity, you find that there is a new side of personality or there is a new release of energy in your body that is going to help you. You must have seen many other people. There are students who are very intelligent but they are very arrogant. They are alone. You don't feel like approaching them. There is a negative vibe for them. You might not be very good but you are willing to help the people out. People would be more willing to come to you. They will be more willing to talk to you. They will see you and they will smile at you and they will feel for you. This is what we mean by nourishment. This is what we mean by newness. To be open. If you tell somebody, if you keep questioning somebody, he is not good, he is not good, he doesn't know this, he doesn't know this. What are you doing? You are just repeating whatever you know. Then you listen to somebody, you learn something. You get nourished. The knowledge, it nourishes you always. And you get to know that there is something else also for you to know. This is what we mean by newness. Newness doesn't mean wearing new dresses or eating new dishes, it's not. It means exploring that aspect of your personality which is there dying out in you. Open up to that, nourish that and find out that you are much more capable. Are your capabilities also in many of the areas or spheres which you prefer not to touch. Don't do that. Nourish that also. Trust and totality. When you trust people and then they betray you, how do you feel? Bad. Bad. Think of your parents, what kind of trust they have in you and how much do you think that you reach up to their expectations? One thing more. If you get good degrees, do you think that somebody is going to say that your parent is better educated than you are? No. If you earn more money, do you think that they say that your father is more wealthy or your mother is wealthy now? If you reach on a higher scale, do you think that your father is there or your mother is there? It's not. If you talk to people well and you are blessed with a pleasant personality, a persona, do you think anybody is going to say your mother is good looking or this thing because you are there? Press they have a trust, they want better for you, always. It's not only they. Teachers are secondary parents. In the absence of your parents, they tell you. When they tell you, take your bath properly, cut your nails, wash your hair, study properly, your being studious is not the work that's likely to affect them either in positive or in negative way. They feel pleased for you. They feel sorry for you, but they cannot be you. They cannot be you. So keep the trust of your parents, not anybody else. Gradually you would learn that this is something. When you are betrayed, betrayed, kisi ki ye baat, kisi ko bata di, aur kisi ko mat bata di, and somebody told them. 
one small insignificant thing. You are the most valuable asset of your parents. They wish that you should bloom in the best possible way. Keep their trust intact. Move ahead, move forward. And then you would be there. Totality. Do not be just a goat or a studious student. Do not just be good in sports activity. Do not just be good in uh, extracurricular activities. Or do not just be good in teamwork only. Evolve yourself in totality. Learn to find out your academics, fine. You are good at it, give this 100%. Then switch over and come out of that also. If you feel bad, don't do that. Another thing. I do not say that do not commit mistakes. Doesn't mean that you go out and willingly do that. But if you have done something wrong, have the guts to stand, say I did it, and then move ahead with that. I'll share a real incident along with you for this particular thing. Inequality or inefficiency? If you, let us go back to your homes, you do your own kind of job and your brother and your father and your mother. They do everything. And if you think that I am a girl, I am not supposed to do anything, I am supposed to be served, you are inefficient. You are not putting it to proper use. Do not think that they should not be accusing you. They would be. Because you have to leave their life on your own. You have to cultivate in yourself the ability to make the decisions. That is possible only when you learn how to commit mistakes. Which one to choose, how to choose. We never learn from our mistakes. We only learn our mistakes. And that is what experience is. That is what it comes from knowledge. And knowledge is something that is based on information only. So first of all, have the information have this particular thing. Are you delicate or are you weak? When you remain away, when you don't want to work, when you are unwilling to contribute, you are not delicate dear. You are being weak. You are being psychologically weak. You are being mentally weak. You are not physically weak. Don't bank on that and don't take that excuse. That you are physically not that good as the boys are. You are not. You have your own potential. Delicacy is something else. You are refined, you are sophisticated, you are cultured. That is delicacy. When you walk away, when you remain away, when you shun, when you are a sham shirker, then you are weak. It's not delicacy. Being a woman doesn't mean weak. It means delicate. Ah, that is fine. Just let me give them. Contribution towards the nation. And what is that towards the nation? Uh, helping the peoples and uh, like uh, removing, uh, helping in removing the uh, poverty, spreading okay. the knowledge. Okay. And Can you be extremely self-centered? Yes. Be self-centered and tell you, tell me, what do you do about yourself? What do you contribute to your own development of personality? I, in a, other words, I'll say, be a good student, be a good daughter, be a good human being. Now, what does that comprise? Wake up properly on time. If you cannot, make a proper arrangement of your study. If you cannot, learn to seek the help when it is needed. If you cannot, seek the help of your friends. If you cannot, study on your own. This is what is it. Contribute to your own personality, your own development. If you are a good citizen, if everybody is a good citizen, you do not need to work for poor. You do not need to work for the welfare of others. Nobody needs you. So, work on your own development. Be self-centered and polish yourself. Contribute to your own growth. Do not just keep on receiving. He will tell me, she will tell me, he will give me, she will give me. No. Develop it on your own. Right now, you have to study. You have to polish your manner, you have to learn group worker, you have to learn group work, you have to recognize your own work, you have to find you are not supposed to be a follower but a good leader. Work on all these aspects of your prasnana. That is your contribution to yourself and a great contribution to the nation. If you are a good human being, good citizen, good well-learned person, that's the greatest contribution you can ever contribute for the development of country. The greatest pride of your parents. 
मेरा बच्चा बहुत अच्छा है शरीफ है राइट कंट्रीब्यूट देयर नॉट बियॉन्ड योर सेल्फ बी सेल्फ सेंटर्ड वर्क फॉर योर ओन डेवलपमेंट यू आर नॉट सपोज टू मूव बियॉन्ड दैट ऑब्जेक्ट आर बी एक्सट्रीमिटी इन द सेंस समटाइम्स दे से आओ वो तो देवी जैसी है वो तो पुलटा है पुलटा अ डाउन ट्रोडन वूमन अ प्रॉमिस जस्ट वूमन राइट do not confine yourself to the well defined roles raise your voice your voice regarding nahi mujhe bhi padhna hai i want to do the job i also want to contribute i also want to work i want to be with you in the time of adversity i want to be with you when i have to move ahead and make the progress i wish to be there you are not an object to be put to extremes break that thread move out but move out in a such a way that you can be proud of yourself there are things which you can tell to one person your best friend you are too scared to tell it to somebody else it's a weak point in your personality do not bank on that move out move ahead you shouldn't have anything that you can say to only one person say it to everybody that is stop being confined to the drudgery of extremity it's not there we are in a path that is balanced it doesn't mean that if you are awake for 16 hours or 18 hours then you are likely to get more marks told sleep properly on time but whenever you have the time use it for that one thing more education might be the most long process boring also at times If you manage it well, if you study only for four hours or five hours, maximum one twenty-four hours. If you study well in your classes, your attention is there. You sit in a period of fifty minutes. What do you do? What do you learn? Many a time, you ask somebody comes out and you ask, he or she cannot tell you five lines that are being taught in the fifty minutes of span. What did you do that? It was just wastage of it. You did not put it to proper use. Don't do that. In capability, capacity. where are you good capability how much can you do in that particular field capacity your ability to do something capability how far how much the percentage of it in that particular field work sincerely and hard don't expect miracles to happen they are not going to don't expect your father your brothers your cousins to stand for you stand for yourself it doesn't mean that you should start shouting and say i am speaking for myself don't do that it's not going to bring you any input to your own persona personality learning it's not and it's going not going to teach you anything if you shout at the members of your family it's not a victory you are being weak you do not know how to handle yourself yes talk to them but maintain your composure i want to say something they might be angry with you they might shout but keep on saying it and they are going to acquiesce they are keep asking for the chocolates One difference is keep asking, but do not ask for dirt. You will never get it. Ask for chocolate if you know you are going to eat it judiciously. You will always be open to that offer. You say chocolate and then say yeah, it's there. It's up to you to find it out. Respect yourself here. And what is that? I tie my hair. Do I look ugly? No. I am this tall. Am I ugly? No. I am educated to that level. Is it a bad point? No. You are not educated to that point. You are still in twelfth or eleventh. Is it a bad point? No. You do not have a fair complexion. Is it bad? Your parents are not on the top positions in the government job. Is it bad? No. You have one brother. Is it to be ashamed of? <laughs> Mm-hmm.